<laughs> Cold and wet day. Yeah. Just got dropped off by the shuttle, Moab Cyclery. Seth, Seth's Bike Hacks, Alexander, single track sampler. We were planning on doing the whole enchilada, but uh, it's gonna be a little bit of the half enchilada. I'm just not that hungry today. <laughs> Just doing the porcupine rim section today. I got a feeling this is gonna be an epic one, boys. Yeah. So we're hitting from the shuttle drop off, Jimmy Keen. Get my hanky out here. Do a wipe down. Hey. hey. <laughs> <laughs> Hadn't used the brakes in a while. Oops, oops, oops. <laughs> Soft and silent. There he goes. I'm really struggling here. Uh, Wrong turn. Uh, oh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and that's the last I see of Seth as I pitifully walk my bike as he rides into the sunset. I remember seeing the videos of this. <laughs> oh, let's stay up right here. Oh, yes. Yeah. Should I jump down to that one? I was thinking about it. <laughs> All right. God damn, these guys are rippers. Solid. Thrill is in the mist. I have to give a serious shout out to Phil Metz from Skills with Phil, his latest video really showed me that my last three crashes were probably from grabbing my front brake too much. It's like I just have a weird habit of grabbing that front brake and on those turns, wash out. So, thanks Phil. Oh my god, don't do that again. That scared me. <laughs> One epic brake failure, you're a fuck. 
five million views. This sketchy moment brought to you by SRAM. God, break. <laughs> <laughs> so ever since you guys saw on Instagram that I got the DVO suspension on my bike, uh, you've been asking me how I like it and uh, really wasn't ready to say with so few miles, but now I think I'll probably put 40 miles or so on it and I'm loving it. This is soft, fun. You know that's what I go by. I go by feel and fun, so it's all that matters to me. And today, suspension is feeling so nice. Taking on this stuff, these drops, and man, I'm, I'm digging it. Hasn't been too bad with the wet out here. I was a little worried, but uh, I've only slipped out a couple times. You know what I really have to do? Pee off the cliff? Pee off the cliff, yeah. That's the first time I was scared today. <laughs> what, you, you, you didn't realize you were about to fall off the cliff? Or? Really? No, I just stepped down and the whole rock would, my foot oh. just slipped. Oh, yeah, yeah. Seth does a fucking wheelie on a cliff, <laughs> no problem. <laughs> But okay. damn, peeing off the sides of struggle. It was a really technical pee. <laughs> <laughs> Double black piss. Yeah. <laughs> Ride behind Seth, he can do it all. Man, that one drop, it, it got me. I had to roll and it was not really a roller. <laughs> Low speed. Three different lines. We didn't sign up for no climbing. Yeah, what is this bullshit? I paid for a shuttle. <laughs> I looked at the elevation profile. It's supposed to be a cheat day. Man, fall. No, that was all me. <laughs> oh, that hurt. Yeah, that was a hard knee. Oh. Wrong line. Which side? Right. I'll make you a deal. You go right, I go left. Let's race. All right. <laughs> the tie. <laughs> Foolish games yeah, right. on the trail. Why did we do that? Need I remind you guys that Alexander lives at 8,000 feet. Or, from Florida. Just because you're from Florida, you've been sucking that low, low oxygen content Salida, Colorado air. Oh, yeah. Are we going Pain and pleasure in the same package. We're all about beat right now. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, so much more comfortable getting the dropper post down. I couldn't get it down during that uh, section. Yeah, buddy. That was fun. That was. Get a little fist bump on that one. For sure. Woo. That one in. Right here. <laughs> Oh, 